Hello, so I'm, as I'm sure you're aware, Wordbox has had an update. And it's a, it's a pretty big update. We I mean, know just some sing, things about the subject. I, I just don't like them. They're bad, and I don't like them. I'm going to talk about them right here. I'm going to go from least worse to most worse. And I, and I hope you enjoy my little ranty rant. Alright, so if I just like, like go over here and like, I spawn the yeah. wolf, right? You might not know about this trait, but obviously I see is all these traits over here. And if I go over here, they, they had this new trait called uh, Voices in My Head. And this all sounds great and all. But the thing is, what does this do? I legitimately have no clue what this is. If someone did like tell me, and that'd be real, that'd be nice. But like, and I'm not just talking about the fact that it decreases diplomacy and opinion, like, like, actually anything else. Because like, I know some tra traits such as like the mad traits, they're obviously they don't just like increase damage, increase speed, increase attack speed, increase loyal. And diplomacy, they off they also make them hostile. And so, but often, like if we say here, like it says so in the description, what it does, like strong minus says can't get mad. That's it's very clear. But here, it's just so vague. Like what do, what does this do? If we know, what does it mean? If you have voices in your head, what does that mean? Like do you not make a kingdom? Do you declare war on everyone? <laughs> Uh, I've done testing and I, I legitimately cannot tell what that does. And it annoys me. Obviously, it isn't really that big of a thing since I don't usually use the trait editor that much anyway. It's, hence why it's on the bottom of the list. But, you know, it's annoying. And, uh, and now hopefully you'll be annoyed by it too. Look at this image. There's something like wrong about this image. This is the image that was taken when I was trying to make a humans versus elves versus dwarves versus orcs videos. I know how original, but now so something's odd about this image. Can you tell what it is? Well, I'll tell you. Is that there's a whole damn kingdom? Wait, am I allowed to say damn on YouTube? I hope so. Anyway, there's a whole kingdom. That's just invisible. It's bought. It's just gone. Just, you, you can see if you zoom. There are armies. It's got and villages, but it's just it's, it's transparent for some reason. And unfortunately, I can't show you directly. So you're going to take my at the moment. So you have to take my word for it. But when I checked, this kingdom has got no capital and no king. I'm not sure how this happened, but somehow. This abomination has been created, and I've I've swear it's happened to me before, where a kingdom will just somehow become invisible. Like you won't notice it until like later. You, and like the thing about these ghost kingdoms that no one can declare war on them, and they can't declare war on anyone else. So they're basically Switzerland, which it's the fact that they never go to war. It's great for the people living in the ghost kingdom, but. It's not great for me. I don't want them to be happy. So I don't want them to live long, happy lives. I want them to kill each other. It's so, like, because they'll never deter war on anyone. And they won't rebel either. And some people might be like, oh, you just reloaded. Maybe they'll fix it. And the thing is, I did do that. And I'm going to show you a screenshot of what soon happened after I reloaded it. Boom, there we go, look. The ghost kingdom has, for some reason, collapses and every single city is now an independent nation. Like, I don't know about you, but I don't think that's what's supposed to happen. Like, they have no king to, like, every single leader just decided to make their own kingdom. And I see, like, it was obviously an orcish, like, ghost kingdom. But, like, it's so annoying because it, it shouldn't have happened. It ruins the like experience. Now, fortunately, this, is, this seems to be quite rare, but like, although it's happened to me like twice now, hopefully it's just me and not other people are having this. Like, it, it's so. Like, this happened like just after. 
Uh, I reloaded it and oh, it's, it's weird. I'm I'm not sure why they happen, but they're just weird and annoying. And hopefully, it won't happen to you. But if I do, I warned you. All right. So this is one of those things where it's like. It's hard to show because it doesn't happen all the time, but sometimes, I think, especially if I'm in a big map, if you have the music on and you're just like a bit zoomed out, and the music will make this, this weird, like crunchy noise or something. I think most people won't notice it, but if you have like a hearing disorder, like how I might, it's really annoying, and so you have to like turn the music off, which is it kind of sucks because it seems like some pretty alright music. I think. But yeah, to be fair, I maybe shouldn't have put this one before the Ghost Kingdom since here you can't you can just kinda of turn the music off, but you can't really just you can't really choose when the Ghost Kingdoms show up. But yeah, just kinda of, kinda of, kinda of annoying thing that occasionally happens. Probably a bug, but I'm sure they might go around fixing it. Okay, this one really drives my nerves. Um so you saw earlier in this like stock world box footage that I have on screen that I placed this thing called a monolith in the center. Now this wasn't just a because I think they look cool, even though they look dope. It's because if I don't have the monolith anywhere in the world, the kingdoms will not declare war. It doesn't matter if diplomacy is on, if or or, or, or if how many times you reload it. They do not declare war if you don't have a monolith. It might just be for me or it might be for everyone. I'm not sure. What's made this even worse is that the monolith doesn't tell you what it does. It just says question mark, question mark, question mark. It's only by like luck that I found out that I needed a monolith. And I, ha I have footage of me that I'll turn on right now. But as you can see, it's like... I have these kingdoms, I clearly have to point the on, and fa hundreds of years go by, and they never declare war. This is... And it's really annoying, because it means it makes... Because... It means that it was like... So that I would like go off AFK for a second, and I'd be bad, like, why is it the same? And I want to be able to make content. So I found out about the monolith, of course. But yeah, that's really annoying. Hopefully, just for me though. very small but it is so annoying it is one of the most if not the most annoying thing in the game in my opinion all right let me show you so obviously if I click on here it opens the kingdoms tab and that's fine got some little some question marks but you know that's all that's all right I don't mind that they also had a new hotkey where I press tab and scroll between them now I'm okay with that I don't I don't mind pressing tab to do that but what I don't like is watch what happens when I press the number two on my keyboard. That is so annoying. Wanna know why? Before the update, whenever I press two, this would show up. Now when I press two, nothing happens. I'm so used to just pressing two and having the Kingdoms tab show up, or pressing something like free and having the creatures tab show up. This is so annoying because I want to like view, view, view the alliances and I press two and that happens. And 
I can't add the hotkey. I can't press uh, control to onto this. It, it doesn't work that way. And so I need to either just press tab, which means if I've already selected like this, I mean, I need to press tab like a bunch of times, or I just have to move my mouse all the way from wherever it was going to press the button. It sounds so small, but oh, it makes me mad. It, yeah, it's definitely the most infuriating thing. So even though this was a bit more of a lengthy video, and, and I sound really mad, I really, I do really like the update, even in spite of all the like small things about it. And, I'm sure a lot of them will probably get fixed. Ma ma like ma Mass Chef, I, or, or, or I think that's his name. The developer, he works, he works really hard on this, and I don't want to send any hate to him. He, he, he worked really hard on this update, and yeah, I just wish you. And if, you, if you're thinking about not getting World Bot because of these things, just get World Bot. Just, just buy it. Just, just, just stop watching this video right now and buy World Bots. Also, who am I kidding? This, up, this update's the best. <laughs>